Welcome to Apex Luxury TV. We are in the beautiful kitchen at Spinnaker Lane, one of Apex's gorgeous luxury homes. And we are so excited to be here with Michelle from Florals by Fitzy, and she has this bounty of gorgeous summer love and what are we doing with all this stuff today? <laughs> yes. So thank you for inviting me first off. And today what we're gonna focus on is a garden style arrangement using flowers from your garden. Um, in this case, it's gonna be from my garden. And then also trying to take advantage of your local flower farms, especially at a time right now where we wanna support you know, business as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty much a mix of garden flowers and local farm flowers. And a couple things um, I sourced elsewhere, but pretty much the are majority. Are the peonies from your garden? Yeah, the peonies are from my garden. I have four different um, peony bushes, oh, but wow. they're in full bloom and starting to, the petals are starting to fall but yeah. I was able to pluck a few this morning it's time so. to use them it's everyone's favorite yeah, it's time exactly. <laughs> And I think that's one of the things we'll focus on in this arrangement is peonies because that's what everyone's talking about mm -hmm. right now. So also kind of talking about how to incorporate a peony because of its size. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. very large. So um, that will kind of be part of the tutorial as well. So. I'm glad you're showing because I only ever put peonies by themselves. I want to know what to do. Yes, <laughs> yeah. definitely. I can help you with that. Awesome. So tell us how to start. How do you even pick the right container for flowers? Sure. So colors right now, I sometimes you know have a rhyme or reason to color but honestly right now I just kind of went with pinks and oranges and what is blooming this week um, and then in regards to the materials that you'll need um, so this vessel in particular is actually from anthropology um, I when I can I like to use more unique vessels um, the vessel really becomes part of the floral design so it is a really important component probably more than people think mm -hmm. um, and then within here I actually have um, flower frogs oh. <laughs> so it's kind of a funny no frogs name. were harmed in the film yeah <laughs> no and I wish I could tell you why a flower frog has that name but um, <laughs> They're basically intended, they're stuck on here with some putty and what they do is they help with the structure um, so that your stems aren't hopping around all over the yeah. place. And you can get them at a local craft store okay. like Michael's, AC Moore, um, and then chicken wire. So this is part mm -hmm. of the structure as well. Um, basically, you'll also need wire cutters, maybe some gloves. Mm -hmm. um, you can prick yourself easily, but the chicken wire is just gonna go in the compote vase. Um, and this again is just gonna help you design and create an actual, more of a shape to your arrangement. Yeah. So I know floral design can be probably really intimidating to people, so I'm so grateful we get to show everyone that how to break it down by steps and put something in the middle of their table that everyone will love. Yes, um, it, there's no like super technique to this. You wanna create a ball shape. Usually you press it down a little bit lower than the rim, but since this is a lower vessel and I kinda wanna have some of the stems kind of a little bit more whimsical and coming out more, I'm gonna actually have the structure a little bit higher, the chicken wire, okay. just to help with support. It's gonna keep smelling. And, and then after that, you can use, obviously, the most important thing we didn't mention is shears are the number one thing you'll need. And then you can use tape. I'm actually not gonna use it, but you can tape um, a piece here and a piece here, which will basically help keep that chicken wire intact. But in this case, it's pretty much like locked in there, you know, as long as it's not falling out. So are these something you can get at your local gardening store? Yes. Store? Anything, chicken wire, honestly, you know, Abishan, uh, Home Depot. Okay. Um, I go through, you know, wholesalers for a lot of my things mm -hmm. because that's part of my business. <laughs> but for anybody else, you can go to your local hardware store, craft store. You can get floral tape at Michael's yep, um, as well, so. And if this is already stressing you out, you can just go <laughs> on Florals by Fitzy and she can do all the dirty work for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I work out of my home studio um, in North Deering. Um, that's where I'm based out of and um, I kind of market myself as more of like a specialty, like custom work. I obviously focus on weddings and events, which right now is a little bit on hold, but um, I'm focusing on my monthly flower subscription service. Um, so people can either come to my home and pick up the flowers on my floral cart, or I'm delivering them to people. So Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, nice. And we've done an event with her and everyone is raving about the flowers, so. Thank you. Vetted. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some water in here because that obviously is the most important thing. 
All right, so I put some water in the vase and then I'm actually gonna go back and <laughs> use um, the tape just because it never hurts um, to just make sure that it's on there. Locked in. Yeah. <laughs> Because sometimes the chicken wire can move around and you don't want to start creating your design and then... Chicken wires will do. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers are already finicky enough, so it's really important to make sure that you have the structure. So while set. you're taping that, sure. just jumping forward to pretending we have this done. Yeah. Do people change water every day? How do we keep the flowers beautiful and keep their longevity? Definitely. So some really important things. Number one, you tr try to keep your, your arrangement out of the sun. Um, that's going to obviously shorten the lifespan of your flowers. Um, generally, you definitely want to check water levels. If you're getting, if you're creating something like this, you're not necessarily going to be dumping the water out, but you just want to check water levels and make sure you're putting fresh water in. Um, also, an important thing is, you know, flowers will start to die. Some have longer long longevity than others, so it's okay to kind of pluck off like the dead leaves or some petals, maybe on roses that are starting to brown, and just kind of. Basically, like if you were to tend to a garden, you're going to kind of tend to your arrangement and that's how you're going to get um, a really nice, long lasting Perfect. Um, arrangement. Yeah. Um, okay. So the first thing when you design is you want to focus on covering up the mechanics. I am going to be using this mint and it's just really good for coverage because it has this nice full um, leaf head here. Okay, so I have created the base structure of the arrangement. I've purely used the mint. Um, you do end up using a good amount of it, especially since the vessel I chose in particular is very wide. Um, but what I've done is I've tried to start to create a structure. So you can see that I have some taller pieces and some shorter pieces. One of the most important things in my opinion when you're designing is to make sure that you have different textures, different heights, um, that's really gonna elevate um, your, your design. So I'm gonna work on this just a little bit longer, I'll fill in a bit more with some of this green um, syrinth. So since we're focusing on peonies, since it's peony season, I have this one um, beautiful yellow peony that I got from Snell Farm. Um, they are located in Buxton, but they are also at the local farmer's markets in Portland. And I just picked this one because as I mentioned earlier, we're going to kind of show you how to arrange with larger blooms because they take up a lot of space so you don't really need a lot of them like maybe i'll use three of these simply because like my vessel is a lot bigger but this is the front of my arrangement and as i mentioned i'm really elaborating on that design and kind of creating more height on one side i always design asymmetrical um, i'm not really big into symmetry so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this guy right in the front somewhere. You're always gonna have some focal flowers and then a mix of filler flowers. Um, you'll have some flowers that are gonna give you more height, for example, like your snapdragons. Um, and you'll have some things that are more like your fillers, so more like accent flowers, like the astilbe here or maybe the phlox. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So much. Yeah. And we'll see you next time.